Hey. Hello there, viewers. Hey, it's the program, everybody. Your daily hour with me. Here we are on TV. Once, once a day. Once again. Once a day, every day. Turn on the machine, start talking, talk for one hour. It's Saturday. Hey. It's Lewis. You Saturday's with Lewis. Your your weekly Saturday. hour. Your weekly hour with Lewis. Yep. Here I am. Kind of dressed like a newscaster, maybe. Yeah. What's the news? Still don't know where my car is. Oh yeah. Um. You can reach out the whole thing if you want. What? You want to retell? You can retell your your car losing story. Oh yeah. Again, off the phone. Well, we caught what just happened on Monday, November 21st. The day began, I woke up at 6.30 a.m. I drove my roommate, Spencer, to the airport, uh, to SeaTac Airport, and I decided, hey, why don't I go to Seattle instead of going back to Olympia? So it's this person I'm friends with in Seattle, and I kind of wanted to hang out with them. Um, so I called that person. She said, uh, I get off from work at 2 o'clock. So I'll meet you at 2 o'clock. So I was like, okay. I guess I'll just, like, kill time until then. So I parked my car in this neighborhood, started walking around, kind of walked towards, like, the downtown area of Seattle. And after a while, I was, like, getting pretty hungry. So I decided to turn around and go get in the car maybe go to a different part of Seattle because I just like don't know the city that well just trying to figure out different parts but I went back to the neighborhood where I'm like almost positive that I parked and I could not find my car anywhere and I started like walking up and down the street that I thought I parked on and like looking up and down every cross street and I could not find my car so Eventually, I started walking to like, this other part of Seattle, and I called my roommate, Aviva, and was like, I think I lost my car. Could you, like, look up a like, phone number to call on the internet? So she gave me some numbers on some impound lots. Impound lots. Called, yeah, I called them, and none of them had it. Um... And then, at about 3 o'clock, I met up with uh, Shannon, my friend that I was going to hang out with. And at that time, I'd already been, like, walking for hours and looking for my car. And, like, periodically just, like, randomly walking to some other part of Seattle and then walking back. Well, um, yeah, and then we, we went, she picked me up in her car. And we went and drove up and down every single street in the neighborhood and still didn't find it. We saw a few cars that were, like, the same... Uh, model as mine, like just like uh, pretty much exactly the same except for a different color. Except my heart, my car also had that uh, like a big dent in the bumper, so it's like easy to identify. Um, but yeah, so after a while, we kind of gave up. Uh, we went and got a drink, and then we were driving to her house, and she drove over a puddle, and her steering went out. And then she pulled over, and we were just, like, sitting in her car for a really long time, just, like, waiting for someone to come pick us up. And eventually, smoke started coming out of her engine. And Whoa. at the time, she thought she had, like, totally, like, fucked up her car. But then I talked to her uh, yesterday, and she said that it was actually just probably, like, a belt or something, like, well, okay. kind of minor. But at the time we were like, oh, my car got stolen and your car is ruined now. What the fuck? This is a weird day. So eventually we got picked up from this like random street corner where we were at. And it also happened that I, so I filed a police report over the phone and then the police officer came to meet me. And it just so happened that um, her friend that was coming to pick us up and the police officer got there at the exact same time so they had to like wait for me to fill out this whole police report and then um after i finished doing that we went to this uh band practice that she was having with some other the band at uh, hysterics 
as a band that some people live in Olympia, so I was fortunately able to get a ride back to Olympia that night uh, with one of the other members of the band. And then also when we were, when we decided that it was just like hanging out the whole practice and then when we were driving down, the person I was driving with, she was like telling me how she didn't have insurance and then like 10 minutes later she gets pulled over. Oh, but what? But then like by a huge stroke of luck, she had a bunch of her old insurance cards in her glove box and the cop just like saw her like shuffling through all of them and was just like oh well oh you have enough of them that i believe you have insurance oh so she ended up not even getting a ticket but she was like speeding sort of whoa so is it a possibility that your car is uh just like in the neighborhood that you just didn't find it or um i guess it's i feel like it's an increasingly remote possibility just because like i feel like if it was there for that long someone would have reported it and then like I, I mean I like check this form on the police report that if they found it they would take it to an impound lot and then I'm like they would call me if it was in an impound lot okay. so yeah just like it seems like if I was still sitting in some neighborhood that's actually different from the one I thought I was in that someone would have been like this car has been parked here for five days and I don't know where it came from. But you, you like drove through the neighborhoods, like all of them that you think it is, right? Like several? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like this one area where, like, basically there was like water on one side and then the highway on the other. So there was like not that much, like, up and down mm. area that it could have been in. And then there was like, there was also like, you know, there's like two bridges on either side that are like dividing the neighborhood. I always remember where you parked everybody on the uh, your viewers parked yeah. on the street. Look at the cross streets or something. Yeah, it's funny because I I looked at the cross streets and I even like I thought because I had been in Seattle a lot and, like I spent a lot of time looking at my car before when I was like I would, I would uh, remember uh, Nick the fun fun of Alfredo guy. Yeah, that was how I met him. But anyways, when I got out of the car, I like looked at the cross streets, and I even thought about taking a picture of them. And then I was like, eh, no, I don't need to do that. Oh, well. Uh, Did you, uh, I mean, uh, how long have you had that car? Um, I personally have had it since, I guess, October of 2010. Oh, that's not that long. So about a year. But yeah, I mean, it used to be my grandma's car. Oh. And then my dad bought it for my grandma, and then it was my brother's car while he was living with them. And then when he moved to Japan, they passed it along to me. Did you did you lose anything else? Do you have any like uh, sentimental things in that car? Um. Oh, actually, I have like one extremely sentimental thing, which is like a a while ago when I was visiting my parents, I brought back all my like childhood stuffed animals, and I kept my favorite childhood stuffed animal in the car. Oh no! Yeah, so a little gorilla, he's gone. Yeah, it's like the most sentimental thing you have, um. Seems like it could be. Yep. Well, I don't know. I don't really feel that much attachment to the past. Yeah. So, it's kind of unfortunate. I don't know. I I, I, mean, I lost all my CDRs that I have burned over the last year. Or so, that would. I mean, pretty much like. It's kind of like a. Ironic because. The only reason I had all the CDRs is because I had a CD player in the car, so they probably <laughs> wouldn't exist. Now they're gone, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And oh, and my my sunglasses, they go over my normal glasses. Oh no. Gone. Man, somebody, somebody, maybe they stole a car. So, if what kind of car was it? It was a Ford Taurus. With Minnesota plates. Yep, Minnesota plates. The dent, you gotta see that in Seattle. Yep. Say something. I think most of the what time was it? It was it was like nine thirty or ten in the morning. Oh, that's pretty early. People are napping napping cars in the morning and then just in the middle of the day. I don't know if they somebody must have was your car locked? Yeah, I'm like I mean, I kinda thought about that and I'm like I usually lock my car and I hit the button, I'm like pretty sure, but 
So somebody got them and they maybe they hot wired it or something. Yeah, cause I definitely had the keys with me. There were no keys in the car. Wow. That's crazy. You know, people just leave their cars places all the time. It seems safe, but maybe it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was just like in a place where I like totally didn't know where it was. Didn't know. I mean, it's just like because there's not really any um, bad neighborhoods in Olympia. Yeah, it could have been a bad neighborhood. What neighborhood was it? You know, you know what part of town you were in? East Lake, I think. East Lake. That's where Hell Yeah Dog is. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I was like walking up and down that street. That was one of the ones that I thought. Well, I, that would seem like it was like the main sh like commercial street in that neighborhood. I parked like one block up from that one, I think. Man, that's that's freaky. You gotta look out for that kind of thing. Hey, let's call Freddy. So what are you, are you gonna are you gonna try to get a new car? Are you gonna get? Did you get any money from that? Or um, well, I was on my parents' insurance, and my dad just don't technically own the car, so like they don't have comprehensive insurance, so it's not covered. So I don't know. Hey, how are you? Hey, Freddie, how you doing? Hey. hey, I'm good. I'm at Long Beach. Whoa, what's there? Uh, right now I'm uh, at the hotel watching a show about pumpkin chunkin. Oh, pumpkin chunkin, yep. Pumpkin chunkin. Was that yeah. I saw that on TV. That's on Modern Friendly. Yeah, I'm watching it's on TV right now. You get a. Uh, get the, the rubber band kind of thing, right? The rubber band thing? The rubber oh, band no, thing? They're making like trebuchets and stuff, you know? Yeah, oh, trebuchets, oh. I thought it was like a big, like big huge machines, and there's stuff where they spin them around really fast, use centrifugal force, and shoot them all over. How, how far do they go? 2,000. 2,000 feet. 2,000, like, something feet. Wow. That's really yeah, far. very far. Well. Is yeah. This, is it just a show about launching pumpkins into things? Yeah, I don't know. Some people are, like, really into it. There's guys who drive all over the country to come to this thing. I didn't even know about it until today, so... It's like, who it's can build cool, Who can build the, the most chunkin' machine? Hmm. Yeah, dude. They built some really crazy machines, too. Um, that's, that's crazy. It. Looks like... I saw some stuff of, of them breaking. Like, they showed, like, times when they broke in years before, and it just like, explodes everywhere and throws, like... Giant pieces of metal everywhere. I don't know. I, d I didn't see anyone get hurt, but it looked pretty dangerous. That would be a bad way to get hurt. Yeah. Mm, shrapnel. Yeah. Well, hey, how's that uh, production end going? Oh, it's good. Um, last yesterday, I realized that I wasn't going to be coming back in time to um, to get Monday's episode scheduled. So I ended up going to uh, TCTV late last night and capturing one. And so we're all clear. We're gonna um, be on the air all the all the Thanksgiving break. So it's all gonna work. Well, great. Louis, yeah. Yeah. Lewis got his car stolen. Or Luke. Lewis. Oh, Lewis. No. What happened to your car, Lewis? Um. Well, we just told the story. Yeah, right? I, I just finished uh, telling the story. The story. That's okay. Well. Uh. Dang. You got. Uh, theft insurance? No. Do you think it was just a joyride, or are they trying to sell it? I don't know. I was in Seattle, and I was like in this neighborhood where I didn't really know where I was. But what? It's, it's been. How'd like, you get back to Olympia? Maybe um, these are all questions. You don't have to answer them if they're questions that have already been asked and yeah. answered. Yeah. I just like I got back right back with um someone who was having band practice there that day. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Dang, man. Did when I, a friend of mine had her car stolen out from an, in Olympia out in front of my house, and then they found it on I-5 later on that somebody had just joyrided. It, it was stole all their yeah. stuff. They stole it outside of their house? Oh. Uh, yeah, they, they stole it outside, like, on the west side. I was on the west side of Olympia, and they stole... Oh, yeah, I think uh, I remember... I think I remember when that happened. That was at the, the uh, Garden of Sweden, right? Yeah, she left the keys in there, and then also, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I had a pair of boots and the video game that got stolen. So she left the car keys in the I car when it got stolen? Mm -hmm. That's how it got stolen? Yeah, she would always do that. She left it unlocked and left the car keys in there because she was a trusting person. Oh. 
Yeah, I, I was not very trusting. And I locked the car, took the keys with me. Well, it was Lewis have hotwired it and broke the window or something, huh? Yeah, I guess so. But, yeah, I mean, it's been like five days and there hasn't really been any word. Did you look for glass? On the road? No. I guess I didn't even think of them that. I mean, I think I was kind <laughs> of like still like, I think I just forgot where my car was. I don't want to believe that my car was stolen. But Maybe you did forget where your car was. Yeah. But I mean, I like <laughs> went, I went like all up and down this neighborhood. And it <laughs> seems like really unlikely that it wasn't anywhere near where I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe just be sitting in Seattle, so... Yeah. Uh, hey, Freddy, is there any updates on uh, John Horseman? Is he going to have a, a memorial or anything like that? Uh, I haven't heard anything extra about that. I know that there is going to be one, and it's probably going to happen in Studio A sometime in December, so... But other than that, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I still can't really believe that he's gone. It's crazy. Yeah, is it going to be televised, or...? Um, no, but we should include it in our documentary. <laughs> oh yeah, we should do a documentary. That's yeah. I'm st I'm still pretty real reeling over that. Uh, I know. It's I I I don't know. It makes me realize how precious life is. Yeah. We should. I want to. So. I want to show uh, some clips of his show. Maybe we should just like or at least his new episodes. If he's not going to put them on, we could just put them on on the program. Yeah. So maybe I, could, I think I could. I think I could manage a way to get a hold of those. Yeah, I'll try to get his tapes, and we want, I want to archive his old tapes too. Yeah, I know where a couple of them are. Some early episodes, so um, they're at the station there on VHS. So that'd be perfect. We could totally show them and archive them and make it make it good. But yeah, yeah, he deserves to be remembered in a good way. So, hey, did you see? Did you see anything on the beach? Um. Uh, let's see, the tide is out really, really far right now, and there's a bunch of people, um, trying to get raised, like, flashlights, and, like, clamming tools, and they're just out on the beach, trying to get, uh, food, I guess. They're clamming. It's all dark and everything, but it's, the, the tide, it's at low tide right now, so that's what, everyone's out there on the beach. Climbing. Um. Climbing in the dark. What? Climbing in the yeah, dark. Yeah, I know. You wouldn't expect them to do it in the dark, but they do. Hmm. All right. Um, anything else on the beach? I found a stick that I was carrying around. That was a good beach stick. And uh, waves. Saw some waves. It's pretty uh, good beach. The sound. Are the waves as loud as the the program? It was. It reminded me of the program. Actually, it was very common. Uh, but also it just, you know, was over everything. You're having a conversation with somebody and you could hear the ocean behind you. Um, it felt very much like just talking on the program. Yeah. But I like that. That's, I think that's my favorite part about the beach is that it reminds me of TV. I'm, I want to build a downsized program where we just have one camera and, uh, I want to build these, I had this idea where we build these phones and then we put the phones into, into double, like, um, splitters instead, instead of a mixer. So that uh -huh. all the phones are on the same level, and then we just need one thing. Cool. Um, I just found out about this thing that has, um, my dad was telling me about it because he bought it for his band or whatever in, um, up in Moses Lake, but they've got, uh, it's like a box that connects to two wireless mics, and they both, you control them both, they like have the same input level, but you can use both of them and talk into them, and they even have that does four, so you can just have like a box that has four wireless talking to mics that you could just use and pass around. There's no cable. Sounds good. But I mean, I think the phone idea is better and less expensive too, so that would be good. Yeah, we just need to build it. So we can, I think we'll try that out. Cool. That's exciting. That might be the future of the program. All right. Well, thanks yeah. for being able to talk to you later, I guess. Okay, if I see anything cool on Long Beach, I'll give you a call and let you know. All right. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Oh, it's commercial break. What happened? We missed...
Yeah, commercial break. I'm gonna miss the commercial break. What happened to Sam? <laughs> well, the, the the dream phone one doesn't like have. It's got a beep though, or the yeah. the bell. I missed the bell somehow. Yeah. So, uh, was it, were the cops nice to you when they when you talked to them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. The appearance just like drove out to this like random street corner where we were to yeah. park. Oh. I mean, it's like kind of. We just down all the same information that I gave them over the phone. But, I mean, yeah. this is like. Yeah, filling out the report and they gave me like a carbon copy. So there was this one like kind of funny moment where like. I was like leaning over the window, the open window. It's like, oh well, if you want to sit down, and I like, sat in the back of the cop car. And then there wasn't, there's not a handle on the back of the inside. And we're like, that's kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna leave the door open. And then we both kind of like chuckled, and I kind of chuckled. And we're like, yeah, there's no handle. And then, yeah, there's like, like bars on the on the window and everything. Yeah, back to the criminals. Yeah. Uh, did you have to fill out your uh, paperwork yourself, or the cop did it all? No, I just called the information and he filled it in. Um, so did you did you call like nine one one or something? Or no, there's another. There's like a non-emergency number that that was one of the numbers that Eva gave me. Oh. Um, I called there. Well, I wonder uh, if they're gonna find it. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I just had I had to like put my signature. On the form, that's amazing. Yeah, we'll call Sean. He's supposed to be here tomorrow. We'll see if he's gonna uh, make it tomorrow. Hey, Sean. Hello. Pa in passing greetings. How you doing? Passing greetings. Uh, we're we're mourning. Yeah, John. We're John Hor yeah. Yeah, fuck John. Yeah. We're uh, we're, we we did some uh, Facebook update. I I grabbed some, some from some stills from his mental health solutions. Yeah. I'm gonna try to archive his his episodes on the internet. We're gonna try to find his old episodes and see if we can get him on there. Yeah, we should get some more people subscribing to his channel. Yeah, he's a inspiration to the program. Yeah, he died. He died alone. All he wanted was another woman. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he he died. He, he wasn't. He had kind of a sad life, and that was what the show was about. And then he's dead now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into him at, at T-Mobile a few times at the mall. He was a nice guy. What are you guys doing tonight? I don't know. Um, yeah. Well, he, he, yeah. Yeah. Right. What did you did you talk to John Horseman when he was at the phone store? Yeah. He the the people tried to rip him off a lot. Oh. But he's uh, he he was just trying to take care of his cell phone. He he had a he has a MySpace. Yeah. He has a MySpace, but there's there's nothing n nothing really on about him on on the internet other than that. Yeah. It, it was all about his cat, right? Yeah, yeah. He likes his cat. I don't know what happened to the cat. I know what happened to the cat. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have some kind of memorial service for him in a TCTV. Hmm. Okay. Is there? Did we should make a, an event? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna go to that. I mean, it's um, John Horseman is a, he's an influence on me. Yeah. I mean, he has a YouTube channel too, right? That's like another thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can comment on there. So you come in here tomorrow, John? Yeah, I'll be here. I'm gonna be on the show tomorrow. Hey, my name's Sean Downey. I'm on the show every Sunday. Check it out. It's tomorrow. You're gonna keep coming down? I mean, it might be your last Sunday. It's the last Sunday of November. Yeah, we don't know. We'll see. You're gonna drive down every Sunday? Oh, uh, did Sean move away? Not yet. He's got a, a week. 
Where are you going? I'm going right? to New York City. Yeah, you gotta look out. Lewis has got a car stolen in Seattle. Yeah. It's a harder. It's a. It's more crime in it's Seattle. Hot. Yeah, it's a hard place, man. Uh, bands are getting their stuff stolen. That sucks about your car, man. Yeah. It. It was. It was a really kind of like surreal thing to happen. So I just like parked it somewhere and then I went back and it wasn't there, but I wasn't sure whether I just didn't remember. I didn't, I didn't realize it was actually missing for like a few hours. Yeah. Oh no. It's gone now. Yeah. We gotta get, did you go to the cop? Yeah. I found a police report, but that was, I mean, it was like five days ago. Nothing really happened yet. Chandra got her car stolen and, and she got it back. They found the guy. And they found the guy? That, that was in, that was in, yeah, she, she had to go to court. Where was, um, was, but it was, it was, it was, yeah, she pointed him out, it was funny. Like she saw the guy steal the car too? No. No, they found it in a, in a basement or some, somewhere. In a basement? How do you get a car into a basement? Yeah, like a basement parking garage. But they found, uh, did they find the guy? Yeah, they found the guy, and they, they found a bunch of Taco Bell and Jack in the Box. How did they find the guy, though? I don't know. I guess they it just it was spotted. He was in the car? I guess in the, another patrol had spotted the car go in there or something. Wow. Was that in Seattle? Uh, like Bellevue? Okay, that's like near Seattle, right? Yeah. Was it... Did, did it get, um, uh, hotwired? Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know how to hotwire stuff. That's freaky, though. Yep, yeah, they can do that stuff. People These guys it. are smart. You gotta look you gotta, out. You gotta be smart if you wanna go live in Seattle. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't wanna live there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I ever did, but... We, we found a really cool place. We, we, uh, we're pretty excited about moving the, the band space into this new space. All right. Don't don't get uh don't get your your car stolen. <laughs> we'll, we'll try our best. Man. All right. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow, Sean. All right. See ya. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. I always hang up on people on the stranger goodbye and I cut them off. Yeah. Ooh, I gotta stop eating that meat. We're eating this dip, but it's like half mayonnaise, I think. It's like yeah, it's eating. Like, what does it say on here? Eating tons of mayonnaise. Artichokes, Parmesan cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, yeah. jalapeno pepper, water, vinegar, soybean oil. I think I just ate like a cup of mayonnaise. Malt objection, Xanthan gum, modified cornstarch. Man. Reasers fine foods. In Beaverton, Oregon. It tastes so good, and it tastes like food too. So you think it's real food, but then after a while, start getting. Yeah, I like these like chips. Oh man, I like ate so much sour cream. These chips really, the pita chips, they really taste like wheat. Here, let's call McDonald's in Idaho. All right. See, they're yeah, they're back. It was or yesterday wasn't. So I'm Thanksgiving, everybody. All the McDonald's were closed, but no one can call them. Yeah. I think I'm, I saw a picture on the internet. There's one thing. At least one McDonald's that was open on Thanksgiving. I don't know where in the world it was. Was it crowded? Oh, well, I mean, the, the ones in Canada were open. Oh, yeah. Hey, McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the pumpkin pies? Um, right now we don't. We have holiday pie, cherry pie, and apple pie. What's a holiday pie? It's custard pie with uh, sprinkles on it. What, what kind of custard? Vanilla. Is it, is it yellow? It's white. It's white, white custard? Yep. Like whip, well, is that whipped cream? Is that what? No, it's like a custard pudding. What, like, it's like, goo, it's like slimy or, I guess, what is, I'm not sure what custard is, you know? It's like a pudding. Pudding. Pudding, yep. pudding pie? Yeah. Hmm. Have you, have you had that? It seems weird. It tastes like cake, like a vanilla cake. It's like a vanilla cake. Oh. Okay. Like a Twinkie? 
kinda. Like, what? What's another pie? Do they? I've never, I've never. Is this a new pie? Is this not, they don't like have this at other places, do they? Custard pie. It's like a donut, kind of. Yeah, I think custard is just like really thick cream. You think it's like a donut, kind of? Hello? Hmm. Oh, what the? Internal error. Internal error. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Errors. Errors. Oh snap. Errors. Well, that was weird. I have not really. Got, I, I haven't tried the holiday pies. I don't know if I want to. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like custard. I think. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you like cannolis? What is? Oh, what the? What is cannolis? You holy cannoli! Cano holy cannoli! Batman. That's what Mr. Ginsey likes to say. That. Yeah, you know it's like a Italian dessert. It's basically like a little like cube, put custard or something in it. But you sometimes it's flavored like chocolate. Custard. Like I'm not. I'm still not. I guess custard's like a pudding. Yeah, it's just like really thick cream. Hmm. Thick cream. So we're gonna log back into the system here because the the thing went down. Well, anything else happened to you this week other than my car? Um, I sat inside a lot. The heat's off in my house, so it's really cold. So it's really hard to get motivated to get out of bed. Yeah. Um, I had Thanksgiving at Evan and Andrew's house, and then I went to the ABC house. Um, both of those pretty good. Oh, uh, um, Ben Hargit, oh. he showed me some hip-hop beats that he's been working on for me. Oh, you're going to do your rap album, yeah? Yup. I'm still an idea floating out there. It seems like it's getting closer to reality. What's your rap name? Oh, yeah. You going to figure it ideas. out? Yeah. What's the, yeah, you have any ideas of, of what you're leaning towards, or? Um... I don't know, I had this one idea that, like... Oh man, something's going wrong. We gotta restart the computer, I think. Hmm. I had this one idea that would, like, be like a cohesive linking thing for all the songs that I made. And it would... If I was gonna do that... Oh, man. Arnold. Arnold? You're Arnold. That's, that's a regular, a regular name. That's another name. Yep. Not even MC Arnold. Maybe MC Arnold. MC Arnold. Or Mac. Mac Arnold. That's a thing people do sometimes. A little. You can You could. I think you're little enough to be little. Yeah. That little Arnold. Yeah, I mean, usually people are little when they're like, they start out as kids. Uh -huh. But, I don't know. I guess, if you wanted to stretch the definition, maybe I could be considered a child, but not, not, not conventionally. Not, not as far as rappers go. I think rapper, I mean, they die early, right? Die young, live fast. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Well, yeah. No, that, that people are getting old. Um, Daisy, he's pretty old. Birdman. These days, rap, the rap has gone out of the getting shot and stuff, maybe. Yeah. Not too many of them anymore. Well, let's see, today it's the. Did you, uh, did you eat a lot of food? Did you get stuffed up on Thanksgiving? Yeah. It's oh, sauce. Yeah, cranberry sauce, gravy. I made some uh, macaroni, baked macaroni and cheese. You cook it yourself? Yeah, that's the thing I made. I you? mean, it was like out of a box. It was. It was yeah. just like craft. No, it was um, one of those like hippie brands. Annie's? Yeah, something like that. 
I got it at grocery outlet. But you baked it? Yeah, it was like it was like kind of like a hamburger helper thing, so I'm like I'm like Was it supposed to be baked? Bread. No. That was just an idea we had afterwards. So you cooked it and then you baked it afterwards? Yeah. Just to double cook it. Wasn't it didn't get too mushy after you baked it twice? No, it was actually it was like firmer. Mm. It like it got more solidified than it was baked. There's also I mean there's also like meat in it. And what kind of meat? Chicken. Chicken in the mac in the mac and cheese? Uh huh. They it was, a, it was you're supposed to put like hamburger or something in it. It was like a hamburger helper thing. Oh yeah, hamburger helper is good. Yeah, but I didn't have any beef. So you just put chicken in there? Yeah, yeah, we did have chunks of chicken. That's kind of that seems kind of crazy. Yeah, it's it's pretty good though. Yeah. Did you eat the? You get the turkey and stuff too, or just yeah. chicken? Yeah, Evan made a turkey. He spent a long time cooking it. But he likes to cook, so it's good opportunity for him. All right, here let's call Angie and see if we can. Uh, if she found an intern yet, she hasn't been answering her phone lately. There's something wrong with her phone. Oh. Uh, yeah, she lives down the block from me, but I haven't seen her in a while. She's supposed to be finding us an intern. Let's see how that's going. Oh, it's ringing. It. Last time it didn't ring. It's I'm an eight. sorry. Oh, nope. The person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Phone's not Gotta on. set up your voice mailbox. No voicemail. Well, it's almost the start of the uh, the legislative legislative session in Occupy Olympia. They're gonna go down there. Oh yeah, it's on Monday, right? Yeah. They're gonna start occupying the capital, so I think it's gonna. They're gonna step it up. They're gonna step up their uh, occupying um, things soon here. Maybe they're gonna get some. Uh, they're gonna get in trouble with the police finally. Yeah, yeah. People in other places have gotten in trouble with the police. Yeah, they've been getting in trouble with the police for a long time, and yeah. it's not around here. Well, it's. Uh, I guess. We can call more McDonald's, or do you have anybody you wanna you wanna talk to? I don't know. Can Let's see. We can call this McDonald's. We'll call McDonald's in California here. Let's call one. Uh, All right. A couple pages in, so we know to call the same ones. California, Maryland here. Do Dinuba. Danuba, California. It's uh in the middle of California next to Fresno here. I mean, we try to find Nate too. Watch Nate and Avery, they're supposed to be on the show. And oh, do you know Owen? Owen. He was supposed to be here too, so we had a lot of cancellations. I think we one one time we Hello? We had a show where everybody came in here and they were like partying and they missed the time. They missed their episodes. Damn. I think I maybe know who Owen is. I know one person. That I don't know him very well. So we, uh, we can call Pat. If they're going to answer Pat from, from the commercial. Yep. Oh, hey, McDonald's? Uh-huh. Hey, do you guys have those pumpkin pies? No, I have pumpkin pies. Oh, uh, what, what do you guys got right now? Uh, holiday pies and cherry pies, apple pies. What's a holiday pie? It's, um, I don't know, it's, uh, egg, eggnog? Eggnog? Uh-huh. Eggnog pie? And that's pie. So, is, 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 there's eggnog in the, inside the pie? Yeah. Wow. And you think eggnog is kind of, this is kind of liquidy for pie. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. Have you tried that? Hello? Oh yeah, I was wondering, the, the holiday pies have eggnog, eggnog flavored pie? Yeah. 
It's so it's like egg, eggnog inside a pie. Yeah, it's like eggnog. Egg, cream. Eggnog cream. Yeah. In like a crust. Wait, what? There's. A, I don't. I don't understand how eggnog can be made into a pie. Cause it's like a drink. Hold on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. 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 What's so? What's what's an eggnog? How do you put eggnog into a pie? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> It just do. It's flavored like eggnog. It's just, but it's, it's just pie. Yeah. Okay. Have you tried it? Is that good? That seems weird. Uh, I don't know. Oh, eggnog pie. Yep. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, you're not, that's not even. It's not even eggnog flavored. That's people. It's vanilla flavored. But yeah. They mix them up. Maybe they have an earphone in California. Do they have an eggnog flavored? That, that's possible, I guess. Well, let's, let's call the one, the next one. Oh, let's just call Pat. You want to call Pat? Yeah, we can do that. Ask him about the commercial. See if, uh, see if anybody bought the album from the commercial we had on here for a long time. Yeah, I don't know how they would find that out. If that happened or if it didn't happen. Playing the albums from the commercial, yeah. Yeah. Oh. The computer just went down again. Dang. Eggnog pie. I can't play. Eggnog is too liquidy for pie. Um, I know. It is, it is a pretty thick drink. Yeah, but you can put in a pie. It's still, it's still just soak through whatever was there. I think. <laughs> it's egg dog. What does that mean? Like, how do you put egg dog? Oh, you just put it in there. It's just in there. <laughs> Ooh, that's that. Yeah, maybe you should call another California McDonald's and see if they say the same thing. Call them before Pat. All right, here. Uh, before or after? Redondo. Or Redondo. Uh, where's the thing? Oh, man. The oh, there it goes. All right, we're calling Pat. From Christmas, from the commercial we had a long time ago. Oh, mm -hmm. I remember this commercial. Pat called in and said he didn't want it on the air anymore. This is too many numbers. What? Wait, is it? No, it's not. Wait. Should be. Never mind. Okay. Cause it's like it's Saturday night though. It's like one one o'clock over there. I'm ready. What about when you, when you answer calls from people who don't know? I don't know. Google Voice subscriber the call is not available. Oh, he's a Google, Google Voice subscriber also. Hey Pat, it's the program. Hey. Hey, you're on TV. Yeah, call us back. 3305363802. We took off your commercial. Uh, uh bye-bye. Alright, here, uh, Redondo Beach, California. Ask him about the pies. Yeah, I'm asking, I like asking him about the pumpkin pies, and then, and then ask him about the holiday pies, and I'm like, what is that? Because they want to find out. It's a good pie to have to describe to because it's kind of confusing. Yeah. These two different, differing accounts of this pie. Yeah. Hello, McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's. Do you guys have the pumpkin pies? Hello. Hello. Huh? Oh, do you have the pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie? No, sorry. Uh, what kind of pies you guys got right now? 
Uh, we only have the strawberry, uh, I mean the um, apple pies and uh, probably the pies, the vanilla one. Well, what? Van vanilla pie? Yes. What's what's that, a cake? No, it's not a cake. It's an apple. It's like a vanilla, like holiday pie. Uh, what do you mean? What's in, what's in it? Huh? Ice cream? Excuse me? Is it ice cream? No, it's not ice cream. It's a it's a, it's, an, uh, it's a pie with vanilla flavor. V vanilla flavor. What 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 is the vanilla flavoring in? Vanilla. You know what is the vanilla flavor? Yeah, I know a vanilla okay. flavor, but like, is it like a like be there's like beans in there? No, no. You know what is the apple pie? You know the pie the one we have inside. So yes. it's the same thing, except for vanilla. But what, what is, van vanilla is not a, it's a flavor, it's not like a thing, yeah, you right? Can, you can come to the store, you can buy, I can give you a sample of that, you can try it. I can sample? Okay. Okay, okay thank you. It's got vanilla in it. <laughs> also not, not a thing. Yeah, I mean vanilla is a plant, but yeah, but usually, yeah, it's flavored. But he was more consistent with the, what we were saying, it was custard. Yeah, it's a vanilla pie. So what's that? You can't say just vanilla pie, because then what do you want to... You can't just have a vanilla pie. It's got to be like a vanilla cream pie or a vanilla custard pie, pudding pie. You can't just have vanilla, because then what do you think? You eat, eating vanilla beans or something? I don't, I don't try a vanilla bean. Have you ever, ever seen one? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't know. So, I mean, I'm having like pure vanilla extract. Yeah. Which actually, that's like... It smells really strong. It kind of smells like alcohol. It's got alcohol in it, yeah. That's what people, on intervention, they drink it. And they're alcoholics. Mm. But, I don't know, like the, the vanilla bean, it tastes like it's super sweet, or it tastes like, like you eat it, and it's like the most vanilla flavored thing you ever had. Maybe. I want to try it. Mm. Probably extract is more flavored, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, like, most vanilla flavored things have a lot of sugar in them, too. I mean, like, chocolate. It's usually like really, really good at it. It doesn't really taste like what candy bars taste like. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so people drink vanilla, pure vanilla extract at an intervention? No, on, on, interve on the TV show Intervention. Oh. Uh, like before when they're just being crazy. Uh, and they sneak, they drink things like they drink mouthwash. Some of them drink mouthwash. And they drink vanilla extract because they hide all the liquor they, they keep the liquor out of the place you know yeah and then they try to drink other things and nice. well, they probably drink a lot of the extracts that's pretty gross though they must get a lot of flavoring yeah I feel like every time I even like smell it the extract it's like like hurts your nose a little bit it's too much vanilla yeah. hey McDonald's do you guys have those pumpkin pies I'm sorry? Do you guys have the pumpkin pies? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, what kind of pies do you guys have right now? We got the apple or uh, the holiday pies with our vanilla flavor. Vanilla? What What kind of vanilla? What's in the vanilla? What's the vanilla like on? It's a uh, vanilla flavor pie. But like what's, what's in the pie? Vanilla. But what? What, like ice cream or? No, it's like just like jelly, just like the apple pie. Oh, jelly? Vanilla jelly? Yeah. Oh, but the apple pie is the guy real apples in there too. But it's just like the apples. If there's no apples, it's just like the the sauce. Yeah, that's probably the only ones we have right now. Oh, that sounds kind of. Have you had that one? I'm sorry. Have you tried that vanilla pie? The, yeah, it's the vanilla cluster pie. That's a holiday pie that we have right now. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Jelly. Vanilla jelly. <laughs> vanilla jelly. That seems kind of weird flavor of jelly. What? I don't know. Is jelly is jelly like a thing that you add a flavor to? Or I don't. I don't even know what jelly is. I think jelly is like it's like fruit boiled with sugar. Huh. And then it turns mushy, or I mean, into like that weird slimy stuff. I don't get. I don't know how to get the slimy stuff. Yeah, because I think it's like um, pectin in fruit. Pectin. And, and like 
It's like this thing. It just like makes it solidify. Huh. What's so, back? What's back then? It's just like a like fiber thing that's in plant matter. Huh. I know that it's like it's like a plant equivalent to gelatin. Yeah. I know it's like if you want to make like vegetarian jello, you get pectin the gelatin. I don't know if I want. I don't think I want to try one of these holiday pies. They seem kind of weird. I'm not like yeah. custard that thing. I'm not much, I think. Yeah. I mean, custard's alright. But, you know. We're about to get into December. It's December already for you guys and the viewers there. I don't know if it's going to start getting snowy or anything. Let's see, yeah. we got. Oh, we have about eight minutes left. It's the big finale of the show today. Whoa. Yeah, we moved everything yeah. around. This was the first time you saw the, the moved around thing, but yeah. you can't really tell on yeah. the... Yeah, it looks the same to the viewers. Except for this. So we can, now we can do this. See, there's this hole. It used to be not a hole back here. It used to be a wall. But we just moved it to the side. Yeah, I guess the, the couch is, like, angled a little differently, too. Yeah, well, that, could, flat, I mean, that could just wall. be a camera angle uh, from the viewer. Oh, there's the monitor, so you can see the monitor now. Yeah. I mean, those are all the tapes. See all our tapes in the background too. Mm -hmm. We got the tapes back there, so we're gonna just grab them. And now we're gonna just reach back there and grab them. Well, let's. let's uh, we have eight minutes left. We can do uh, something. Did you uh, you talk to your family on Thanksgiving? You called them up? Yeah, they, well, yeah, they called me. I mean, I had talked to them like four days before. To do that car thing. But yeah, I was sent to. I was trying to talk to them. They, they went to my grandma's uh, nursing home and they tried to call me from there, but that wasn't very really good reception. So, yeah. kind of, the call got dropped and they called me back like an hour later. <sighs> well, it was, it was McDonald's. The, the McDonald's today are very interesting because everybody's got to describe this pie. Yeah. Uh, it seems like the Californians are the least informed about the pie. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those pumpkin pies? We have the what? Pumpkin pie. Hello? Yes. Hello? Oh, yes, hello, can you hear me? Hello? 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 Hello, do you have a pumpkin pie? No, we don't have pumpkin pie. Oh, what kind of pie do you have? Apple and our special holiday pie. Oh, uh, what's in the holiday pie? The vanilla. Okay, is it... How, uh, what kind of vanilla is it? Is it like ice cream? Or what? Yes. Yeah, is vanilla ice cream? Yes. Oh, okay. Ice cream pies, that sounds pretty good. Right, okay, go. thank you. Thanks. Uh, McDonald's are inconsistent. <laughs> it's ice cream. <laughs> Is it ice cream? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's ice cream. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. I just want to get it over with. <laughs> it's ice cream. Well, no, I guess they don't say custard. Nobody knows to say custard, so the one guy said it first, I guess. Uh, so Mark says, how do I get a commercial on the program? Well, he sent us a, a, a YouTube video. And then we're going to get it on the program. So if you guys out there, our viewers, if you want to put anything on the show, we'll play your videos. We have a, we actually just got this new computer thing. We can play it off your computer. So if you guys are making those YouTube videos or anything happens in Olympia or anywhere in the world, send us a video. We'll play it on the show. You can watch it in the middle and you'll be on TCTV in Thurston County. Also, if you guys have any uh, complaints or... Uh, suggestions or topics or uh, yeah, anything you can call in and just like start yelling you wanna uh, shout outs uh, saw you those like uh, you know those ads where they see I saw you ads in like uh, what do you call it oh, personal you can do oh, personal yeah. ads uh, John Webster is looking for a girlfriend so he, if anybody out there, if you guys are uh, ladies, he's looking for somebody maybe like 55 to like 70. So if you're an older lady, you 
want to you want some companionship call the program we'll call John Webster and you guys can meet on the program that would be good mm -hmm. televised date yeah remember what was that show Eliminate yeah Eliminate that was a good show yeah I remember that on the bus yeah and they would always like add in the like goofy like what they were thinking or like give them like cartoon eyes yeah, those, those shows were good. There was a couple of those dating shows in, like, Next, Limit Date, uh, what about De Devil Date or something, Hell Date, you ever see that show? No. I think, I forgot what it was called, maybe it was Satan, Satan's Date or something like that, where there was, uh, one person was just being as obnoxious as possible on purpose, <laughs> and another person, <laughs> they, they didn't know they were, they were going on the, they thought it was going to be a real date, but then they were just being obnoxious, and... They're like, why are you so obnoxious? <laughs> they're just like, oh, hell date, oh, I think it was called, oh, and then when they said hell date, they would, a little midget in a, um, <laughs> uh, Satan costume, and he would come out and go like, ah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's hell date, we should do some more dating programs. Yeah. Bird went on a date in the, in the newspaper, I don't know what. No, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I have to look for the article. Well, I guess what's called Wilmer McDonald's here, and we'll call him in Oakland. Oh yeah, that's where all the it's a lot of rioting. Yeah, well, in a, in honor of Bird, we'll call Oakland uh, Bird's date. Probably the last call we have only a few minutes left here. Two minutes left. Uh, my phone is beeping. You know when your phone runs out of batteries and it starts beeping. Hello, McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's. Do you guys have the pumpkin pies? No. Uh, what kind of pies you guys got right now? Only apple pies. Just apple? Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that guy, and they were excited at least. Yeah. Hello, McDonald's! Yeah. You know, the, I feel like a lot of the ones in California, they have like Spanish accents. Yeah. Uh, that's California, close to Mexico. Yeah, except for that, that one girl, the first girl who said mm -hmm. it was eggnog. Yeah. That's it. So the second girl came on the phone and she was just like, it just is. <laughs> 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 it's just eggnog, it's just in there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put, how do you put a liquid in there? It's just there, it's just in there, just believe in it. Uh, you can't put eggnog in there, it's not eggnog flavor anyway. I think, what an eggnog flavor supposed to be? It's like pumpkin, like what's the difference between pumpkin and eggnog flavor? Uh, I think, I mean, eggs. Yeah, but there's not eggs on the, in the flavor of it, it's like the... I think, I think it's like eggs and cinnamon and like milk. Mm. Yeah, I think all that stuff's in pumpkin pie too, I think egg, eggnog and and pumpkin pie are very similar in taste. I don't know if you like had two. See, like if you tried like the eggnog milkshake and pumpkin pie milkshake, you'd be able to tell them apart. Yeah. Cause both like nutmeg, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice anyway. Well, that's it. Thanks, uh, thanks, Lewis. Thanks for having me again. Five years, TCTV. Thanks, YouTube. Get on TV. Call the show. We're on Twitter. I kind of stopped tweeting a little bit when we get back into it. Send us some physical mail. We haven't gotten any. Thanks viewers, thanks TCTV, thanks Le Bebe, check it out, Duck the Malls, Capitol Theater, hell yeah dog! hell yeah, Eastlake, that's where Lewis got his car stolen, thanks, bye bye.